Hey, it's Allison Harris with Sing Right Create. And um, this is one of my favorite uh, breath exercises. And to me, this is kind of like a hack for breath support. So um, if you're accessing this feeling that I'm about to show you, it means that you are properly supporting, supporting the breath. So first it starts with just awareness of what's going on with the lungs and the ribs. So we're gonna start by just breathing out. Put your hands on your ribs. So the rib cage, it's not your waist. You want to make sure you can actually like feel those rib bones. Um, so take a nice deep breath in, always through the mouth and breathe out and breathe in and out. And you should feel the rib cage expanding and contracting as you do that. Um, so let's just do that a few more times. Breathe in through the mouth and out, in and out. Good. And um, I should say I'm kind of audibly breathing just so you can hear me on the video, but ideally you don't want to hear yourself breathe. You want to be breathing in through a nice open throat and not really hearing that breath um, as you go in and out. We'll talk more about that later. Um, okay, so now we're going to breathe in and then we're going to hiss out a nice steady stream on S. Um, so here we go. Breathe in. All right, so what you should feel when we do that is just that your rib cage expands and then slowly as you hiss air out at a steady pace, it goes in and contracts. So let's try it one more time. Go ahead and put your hands on your ribs. Let's see if we can access that feeling. Here we go. Good. All right, now we're gonna go back to that feeling of the pelvic floor and all the diaphragmatic muscles. Um, we'd access the pelvic floor a little bit in your first stretch video. And now we're gonna need the muscles of the diaphragm for this next exercise. So you can put your hand um, right here uh, on your diaphragm and just say, ha, ha, ha. And you should feel it kind of bounce. Um, that's your diaphragm, that's the main muscle. But in this exercise, you're gonna feel not only the diaphragm, but you might also feel the side muscles kick in and the pelvic floor, all the muscles um, in the abdomen. So what we're gonna do is take a nice deep breath in and hiss out, but you're gonna try to use all those muscles to stop the ribs from contracting. So really anything you have to do with those, all the diaphragmatic muscles, um, you're just gonna to try to keep those ribs open the whole time, as, as long as you can. So here we go. And deep breath in through the mouth. Good, okay, so I hope you feel that. If you didn't, please email me. If you have any questions about this at all, please email me, get in touch. Um, I'm happy to, to talk it over with you or schedule a little extra time that we can go into it. Um, but assuming that you did feel all of those muscles start to kick in from the diaphragm to the side muscles, um, down to the pelvic floor muscles, let's do that three times in a row. So we're gonna hiss out, maybe not quite to the bitter end, then we're gonna breathe in and fill that vacuum that we just created in the lungs. So the air is just gonna flow in naturally through a nice open throat. Um, you don't need to work to take the air in, you just let it flow in, and then we're gonna breathe, hiss out. And the idea is that you're gonna try to keep the ribs open the entire time, so try to keep them expanded. Okay, here we go. So nice deep breath in through the mouth. Breathe in through the mouth. In through the mouth. And once more.
Okay, so this is a great exercise, not only for strengthening all those muscles, it really is a strengthening exercise. Um, as you get deeper into it, you'll feel those muscles really start to kick on. It's also um, for control and breath control because you're, you have this nice steady hiss out. And when you're singing, ideally, you want all of, of the phrase to be supported by this beautiful river of breath that just kind of keeps flowing at that pace. Um, so definitely include this in your daily uh, vocal warm up or however often you're doing it, hopefully a few times a week. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.